One, two, three, four. Hello, my name is Diego from the Hit Music Studio and in this video we are going to show you how to play the riff, the main riff of I Got A Feeling. And this is a great song if you're trying to put something together and play with let's say some friends that may be like learning something similar or for parties. I think this is a great riff to like know because people are really get excited about this song. And maybe someone be able to like even like sing it if you are in a party context. With that said, I'm going to give you some pointers and talk a little bit about the importance of counting out loud. And I'll show you in a second why. Because when you are trying to do this kind of like thing and practice it, I think sometimes it makes a lot of sense to uh, go ahead and count out loud. So with that said, let me try to show you the beginning. We're going to divide it to four sections. Now, normally in a beginner song, you will be here. So uh, we're gonna move your right, uh, your hand to the right, and go on thumb on G, and then go A, B, C, and D, pinky on D. Now try not to cheat by having more than one key pressed by the same finger. We're gonna try to have one finger per key, starting on G and going all the way to D. With that said, we're gonna play mostly quarter notes. So when you practice, don't do this. Practice slow and steady. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A big suggestion that I have for my students is this. Practice this by counting to eight and count very steady. So uh, when we count out loud, there's a couple of things that are very positive for music that happen. And it's it's a little bit of a, the more demanding to count out loud, but you're going to see really good results if you count out loud when you practice. So let me show you the first batch of notes. Definitely try to count to eight on all of these four sections. And you're going to see why, especially when I sh show you the left hand, but it's important to count out loud when you're practicing it. So we're going to do this. We're going to do four times G and D. One, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight. There's two times of G and C and two times of G and B. And those are going to line when I say five, six, and when I say seven, eight. It's okay to practice just that to get it correct. One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight. The good news is that the next three sections, they're all out of, made out of eight notes and all of them are very steady. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's G and C eight times, then G and B eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then G and C for one more time, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're probably wondering, kind of like, why do I have to count out loud? My students do, and they tend to be like, you know, I don't have to like count out loud. I can get it right. So I go like, sure, let's try it. And they will usually get it wrong. So when I teach you the left hand, the left hand is going to be for the first section, eight counts. You just press and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But on the second section, I'm going to play on seven a D. So I start with a C one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I go to E. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That D appears again on seven. So what's happening here? Those Ds are in the middle of the bar. That's why it's important to count this second section to eight. And it will sound like this. G and C eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the last one is pretty simple because it's just eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just to mention this, you're not going to be at a party playing this and counting out loud. Hopefully you're not because hopefully you did this process, you practice it enough. The process works is like this. You do it. 10, 20, 30 times in a row counting out loud. And if there's a moment in which it's almost like your autopilot can engage and the part that you're practicing starts sounding on almost on its own. And when that happens, you can let go of the counting, but you're not there if every time that you're playing it, you're playing it with mistakes. So if you're saying six and you're playing D, 
or if you're saying eight and you're playing that D, that is the wrong place for it. So that's why counting out loud is very, very valuable, especially the first three to five times that you do something is incredibly important to get it correct. So that's why when you count, you increase your chances of doing it correctly because you're almost figuring out where things are supposed to go. And believe me, it's a really good technique. I know a lot of really good musicians that use this. Even more, if you're in a bind, most musicians that are really good will slow down things, count them out loud, figure them out pretty quickly and then almost like sort out what they're trying to do so let me play it almost in context here with the beat i'm going to slow it down a little bit uh, and going to try to play the whole thing twice so try to play along with me i'll count so we can do it together so one two three four Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you can see there, I kind of like skip a couple of notes there. But what's important is that it, this is a great song that I think putting the technique of counting aloud can really help you. And at the same time, it's a fun song that you can definitely play with other people. So if you like the video, definitely try to give it a, th a thumbs up. It really helps us out. If you like any other songs for me to cover them, let me know in the comments. Uh, we definitely want to encourage you to, if you are an adult maybe, that you want to learn how to play the piano, let us know. We have a, a beginner's course that we can share with you because we do believe that like learning music doesn't have to be only restricted to people that are young. It can be a very, very cool thing to almost get distracted in life and do something that you maybe you have always wanted to do and now can be a great time to get started. So definitely check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.